Hello, what's up, hope you're doing great in the gosh, I'm back with another excited video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a uh, very excited, cool looking, growing effect inside this and afford R20 using fields. So, if you don't know about fields, so it's same like a fall of, uh, as you can see, I have here plan, uh, plane effector. So here you find a fall off so you can create your own field so I will show you in a moment so what you can do with that so let me show you what we create inside this so let's see if you play okay take it as you can see now our object growing on our torus so uh, because of it's a lot of geometry in this so that's why it's take it too long for uh, it's uh, become a too slow so as you can see it's growing like something else. so it's really easy and quick step so let me show you how you can use it you can use it uh, this field or this growth factor with any other object I use cloner so let me show you first we create a new file we create a torus here torus so we just change the file so we use matrix sorry for my mouse is broken so that's why I'm using these so so sorry for my mouse so, so as you can see we just increase the size of Taurus anything you want uh, I'm just showing you a random thing we just hide that grid so for more geometry so we use matrix for um, make it faster process otherwise you clone or anything you want uh, so you can use your draw factor with displacer or I will show you in moment so in matrix we just change it to a like a from mode to object so we use torus as our object here so as you can see now it's a distribution set to surface we just need to change it from surface to a uh, vortex so as you can see here we have this result we just increase the segment for increasing this vortex so red ring segment and you can see it's depend on you and your computer and your which kind of projects you are doing so you can create so now what we do next mama sorry for that just give me a moment so so First, uh, we just decrease the size of this matrix. So what we can do here is go in transformation or coordinates. So, so we transform. We just change it to point one, point one, point one. So now what we want to do the logic is that we want to grow these uh, uh, cubes on our surface like something growing I already show you so what we can do you can use any factor I'm using plain factor so if you don't know about more graph <coughs> before field you need to know about more graph so motion graphics so how we can use that then you can understand what I mean so as you can see we apply a plain factor so it can uh, <coughs> Uh, it can just behave with all these object like same so what we can do we go in our follow up object so if you don't use uh, sum of or r20 so you don't know what, there is no field so if she as you know in sum of 40 19 you can you don't have a field option so that's why it's a new inside inside this sum of 40 r20 so what we do we just create a any field you want for start so I use a box field so now it's just effect on this on wait. so now as you can see uh, this plane effector only 
unable inside this cube area so what we can do is just increase decrease the cube all of box field size so as you can see here make it more smaller we don't need it as much so we just take it a little bit down for giving it our a bit up here now we just add a plane effector do some plane effector starting so just go in plane go in effector parameters and we just we don't need any position transformation we just use a scale and we just change it to a 10 like 10 by 10 by 10 so where is our box here let's see if it's effect here as you can see it's going effect on there inside the box so now next thing we go in plane effector again and go in follow now here we create a new field Oh, sorry from there new deformer like called a freeze so just click on freeze layer and go in mode change it to a grow so when you now hit play as you can see it's growing but it's not going to, uh, through all so what we can do there we just create uh, change the radius just as a 30 so let's see now as you can see now it's working you can increase the size or you can do anything as you can see now we just need to slow down a little bit okay there is too much trouble because of my i don't have mouse so that's why so as you can see now you hit play it look like something growing so now what we can do we just go in radius tab you can create a sub field so it's really awesome so when you create sub field so it's apply on your what we say on your free uh, field so we just create a random field for giving uh, make it little bit look uh, what we say little bit random add little bit random as in growing effect so oh my god i don't have mouse today that's why so just click on random field <clears throat> change from random mode to noise or anything you want so don't for uh don't afraid from playing this with this field so you can uh, just increase this size now if we hit play as you can see here so it's prime you just increase the radius so if we click on freeze again layer and we just change it to a 50 so now if you hit play again as you can see it's a little bit faster we just add a 40 so it's now slow now there is another thing you can add is a delay here so as you know with uh, as its name delay so it's delay the animation now if you hit play so as you can see it slowed down your whole process so we just make it a little bit bigger so you can just frames so now if you hit play from the beginning so you can change the effect the trend or move to supreme so let's see what supreme does okay it's look like something blinking or flickering we just change it to a linear let's see what it does okay so as you can see what we can do with this field so let's let me show you how you can this field inside the deformer uh, displacement deformer we just create a new file we just create plane here so, let's see. Oh my chair. So, now in plane we just add more frame 
more segment 200 and 200 and we add a deformer displacer just giving you idea what you can do with this what is the capability of this field it's really powerful new update in size therma 40 this one and node material node based material so now first we create something shader we just create a noise noise shader as you can see here we just use something like uh, Berlin SEMA okay, it's SEMA so as you can see here's something we have here that's not looking that good but we just make it a little bit smaller and make a little bit bigger size now we go back in our displacer do a little bit settings in the trend here okay. you can just add if you want i don't recommend so doing let's make it a bit slower PC. so we have here something i don't know what is that so i'm just showing you what you can do here so in this placer again we go and follow create a box field for giving it start point so as you can see here we have uh area let's make it too small we want we just disable my gear disable this sub tween for now oh my god i don't know what's happening here just change it to zero make it more take this smoother faster and i just take this feel from this to this corner Really much. I need to buy a new mouse tomorrow. It's too late, so that's why I don't do anything right now. Oh, but I use my mouse pad on my laptop. So now we give starting point. We start our grow from this point to another point. So we just I can come on okay. Just, okay now go back in displacer follow same like before we just add uh, sorry we just add a freeze layer now change move to crow now if you hit play here same like before it's growing so we just add 3000 what we say 300 frames more complete and smaller as you can see it's looking great but we can add uh, same like little bit uh, radius so in radius we add no random field so if we hit play right now first thing it's a little bit randomness but we need to add more we just change it to noise here we increase the scale something like that now if we hit play so as you can see now uh, it's it's working a little bit good looking a little bit natural so that's how it's work so you can also use the play clamp anything just don't uh, afraid to play around these uh, object values field to anything you want so what we use let's see again play 
be able to play, so let's make it a little slower. So let's see what we have an after out. So if you have a car decay, so if you use decay, so what is that? We don't decay. Just doing something a little bit, but if we enable it. It's doing something little bit, but I don't see what it's do. It just increases the trend. So, as you can see, what you can do with that field. So it's a lot more things inside the field. So, if you want to know anything about Sanma 4D or any other 3D software, let me know. Comment below and we try to make tutorial about that. So. <clears throat> I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel.